What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are cruising through March. So I'm going to get you into the weekend with Old This Week. A great way to start your week. Let's start with the most important information. What's cooking? We've got Saturday, March 23rd, in-store, 1 to 3, Earthquaker Devices, doing a killer pedal event. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're local, get yourself here. The guys from Earthquaker will be here. We have sweet deals on lots of pedal stuff happening. They're going to be bringing tons of cool stuff. And like I said, I think if you're a pedal geek, this is Nirvana. If you don't know that much about pedals or interested in them, I'm really excited about it because I don't know that much about pedals personally. I've never been that into them. More out of, uh, I play mostly acoustic guitar, but I think it's really cool to see stuff in uh, motion, especially when you talk to like someone like Anthony here and Justin's a lot into pedals, Todd's into pedals. Like those guys, you know, it's like, get us all amped up so i'm pretty juiced up about that so that's exciting then we've got the nam taylor event go to the empire music website go to taylor nam 2024 there's a coupon in there 20 off on all those guitars 20 percent save sweet deals full pro setup on everything we sell new used etc etc then we've got the trading event store wide 7.99 and up handful of exclusions but any New guitar, most any new guitar, $7.99 and above. You're going to get 15% off if you bring a trade in that we can agree on. And it's been going really well. We were so busy last week. You'll see today, I just have, I only have one trade today, but I've got some cool other stuff because we got slammed with a ton of new guitars. And just for what it's worth, if you've ever been to Empire, like we don't have a loading dock um, because when I started Empire and moved to this location, we were mostly an in-store business, not an online business. And that has shifted. So we got a couple hundred guitars last week and that really jams up photography and all that stuff. So it just takes a while to process. So next week, I know I have a bunch of cool stuff to show you, but I have something really awesome uh, to, to show you today in terms of views and it's going to bring up another conversation. So without further ado, go to Empire Music, check out everything, make a call. We'll hook you up. Full pro setup again. Um, this is sweet. 1967 Gibson EBO. We don't do a ton of vintage, but we are uh, interested in talking about that with you guys. If there's something cool that you have that's vintage, um, we're definitely interested in it, you know, because we haven't really built a vintage collection. When people just come in, they come out really fast. So it sometimes it doesn't highlight us as someone that wants to play in that area. But we do, of course. Um, what's cool about this is original pickup, the uh, Era EB um, original pickup. An incredible Rosewood fingerboard. You can see how beautiful this guitar finishes age. It's a cherry that's just washed, uh, which is sick. 12-inch. Um, Radius 31 inch scale. The checking on this and the natural relicking is just <laughs> super cool. Uh, really oozes a lot of vibe, but most importantly, the original volume and tone pots, um, original bridge, original pickup, original pick guard. You can see the person's moved the thumb rest from here, from over there to here, which is cool. Uh, or not, depending on what you like. But it's just like, you know, obviously, an, on an instrument like this, you know, it's 60 some years of life that it's lived and probably told a few stories. So really, really interesting. If you want to get down and dirty in the information about this, Anthony would be your guy because he worked um, on getting this piece in on trade as well as, um, you know, this is his kind of arena. So super slick. If you've got vintage stuff, we'd love to talk to you about it. This is a great piece. Uh, next order of business is that we're going to go through, I have some cool things that are on their way out demos, B-stocks, because this is what Old This Week has always been kind of like the idea. Just showing off the stuff that uh, is either discontinued, being discounted, kind of sweet deals. This is the last hot rod HSS Aerodyne that we have. Strat, Japanese built, Babbitt Bridge. Special pickups just for these. 12-inch um, fingerboard radius, contoured body. Things slick, maple fingerboard, locking tuners. Contemporary design. Japan builds all sorts of cool stuff. We get a little bit of it. This is the last lone fella. So let's get him a home by next Friday. Um, highlighting some of the demo stuff we have going on with Taylor. We have, if you go to the site, there's demos and then there's AM stuff, but 224s and 222s, which are incredibly popular instruments. Also solid Koa tops. Um, layered Koa back and sides. Expression System 2s. Ebony fingerboards and bridges. Uh, mahogany necks, hard shell cases, 
What's great about these is, you know, they finally, and you'll notice this in Taylor's lineup, something you want to keep an eye on, grand concert cutaways like this guitar never existed until last year. So now we have a 112, a 212, and a 222, all the cutaway, all with electronics, all the expression system too. Um, so if you've wanted a small body Taylor, like I'm a big fan of their small body guitars, they exist now on all those platforms, which is awesome. These instruments are probably in the top, oh, the 224 specifically, is probably in the top five or six guitars that we stock in terms of units sold every year. A very, very popular instrument, uh, tons of value. You're gonna see that these demos and B-stocks and things like that, um, they're, they're few and far between. The manufacturers keep making strides to make great guitars. So if you wanna get maybe a demo, which sometimes these are just on display at a sales training meeting or something like that, um, we will highlight if there's something off uh, in terms of ding, dent, scratches on the, the 224s and 222s, all super clean. Um, which leads me kind of into this next area because Fender just had a price adjustment in some places. So a ton of value in these B-stocks. And we used to get a ton of B-stock Fender guitars and we did a significant amount of business with them and they kind of changed how that business is, which um, it's, we don't really have access to it any longer. So these are a handful of pieces that we get in from time to time. This is an American Pro 2 Tele Deluxe. Um, double tap humbuckers, which is cool because you have coil taps to make them single coil if you wanted to, or you can obviously leave them in the traditional um, thing. The cool thing with a American Pro 2 guitar is you're getting the belly cut so you don't have as big a slab kind of a nice C neck shape, satin feel. You have a string through body, but it can also be top loaded. So I don't know if the GoPro is gonna show that, but you can string it right through here, which the Jimmy Page telly brought that back to the forefront. So if you want to slink your feel, really, really cool. Uh, Britt Daniels from Spoon, Thin Line Telly, hand wound Texas Special on the bridge, hand wound Telly, uh, custom and, and neck, all from the custom shop. Kind of a deep C on it, thin line Telecaster S1 switch. So when you're in the middle position, you can run them series or parallel. Very slick instrument. Cool features. Custom shop pickups are always a bonus if you can get them. And the thin line, if you're like a like a lighter guitar, you know, keeps uh, keeps it light. But that guitar has something you can overdrive it if you want. But still, the thin line kind of keeps its um, resonant acoustic possibilities are there too. Unlike this guitar, which <laughs> this is the Jim Root from uh, Slipknot, Jazzmaster, and EMG, I think 80, 81 and a 60 active pickups. But this guy's kind of balls to the wall. You have a choice of volume up or volume all the way up. Basically, three way switch, uh, fixed tailpiece, uh, ebony fingerboard, locking tuners. And these guitars, all the B-Stock Fender stuff was really something that someone bought from Fender Direct and then they just um, returned it for some reason. So they'd bring them back and sell them to us at a hooked up deal. But here's the deal. We want your trade-ins. We want your trade-ins. We want your trade-ins. We'll give you 15% off most anything new, $7.99 and up with a trade. If you don't have a trade, no problem. We'll take care of you. 0% financing. We've got the NAM 2024 deal going on on the site. So check it out. Check out. Let's see. What else did I say? Check. Oh, March 23rd. Earthquakers here. Get yourself here to enjoy all things pedals. This is Old This Week at Empire Music.